Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I want to show you eight must-have Chrome extensions for students to help you be more productive. If this video helps you out at all, please consider subscribing as it helps out my channel. So let's get into it. At number one, we have Grammarly. And of course, you'd expect this extension to be on any top list of extensions, especially for students, as it helps you type better on all websites, not just schoolwork. Sometimes I'm typing YouTube comments and it helps me spell better or it tells me if I'm being informative, if I'm coming across as angry or anything, especially if you're writing emails to teachers. It's a great tool to use as it makes sure you're not too casual, not too informal. Mostly just helps you spell better, changes words around if you've, if you've maybe made some grammatical errors. And that's basically all it does with a free plan. So as a student, Grammarly really helps him when it comes to writing on Google Docs or writing emails or writing basically anything on the internet. Coming in at number two, we have Todoist. Todoist is an extension which lets you create to-do lists on Chrome. So if you have an assignment or a task that's set out in different steps that you can break apart, it can help you be more productive that way as then you can focus on the part that you need to focus at that time. And once you're done with that, you check it off, you go to the next one. To-do lists like this help you be more productive because it's a lot more satisfying not having to worry about the later parts of this assignment, only worrying about the one you're doing right now. Once you've completed it and checked it off the list, it's a satisfying process seeing finishing them one by one until you complete the assignment. Also something that Todoist is good for and that I use it for is due dates. So if you have a task that's due on the 21st of March, you, you can just add it to the to-do list, say what subject it's for, and then once you're done, before the due date, you can check it off and make sure you don't have to worry about it anymore. So you can just have your to-do list right in your browser as soon as you turn it on. Very helpful. The next extension on this list at number three is Streak for Gmail. What this extension does is it shows you when somebody's seen your email. So no more group work where somebody comes to class and says, Oh, I didn't see the email last night. Sorry, I didn't do the work. Well, now you can catch them lying because this extension tells you when they've seen it. Also, this extension might help you catch a few teachers here and there lying about seeing or not seeing your email the night before. At number four, we have picture in picture. Now, this is something we've all seen come to the iOS 14 on the iPhones, meaning it's a feature that's basically a must these days. So what this extension lets you do is it lets you take any video you're watching, break it out of that window and put it anywhere on your screen, size it to however big or small you want it to be. So now this is made for people like me that like multitasking while doing work and it makes us more productive. I might go on Netflix and I'll use picture in picture to pop out that window, put it in the corner of my screen. So while I'm working in Word or Chrome doing something else, I can watch this. I can watch the show there in a small window and I can listen to it and it helps me be more productive. So it basically works with YouTube, Disney+, Plus, Netflix, or any other video player on the internet. And if you're like me and like watching YouTube or Netflix while doing work, this extension will help you out. Extension number five is Cite This For Me. So basically this extension has saved me hours in those times when you complete an assignment at 2 a.m. And remember, I forgot to do the references. So what this extension lets you do is just go on the website that you want to reference, click on the extension and it will make a reference straight for you. You can set it to a few different referencing modes. I use Harvard referencing. So as soon as I go on a website and click on cite this for me, the extension, it will give me a citation to copy. So then you just click on it and it copies straight to your clipboard, go into Word, paste it there and all is good. This makes it really easy to have 20 websites you need to cite in less than 10 minutes. Before I used these different generators, but they're really inconsistent. Sometimes they miss out on titles, on dates and so on. But this extension I found is very reliable and makes the citations really good. At number six, this extension is called Dark Reader. And what it lets you do is change the settings of your screen of the browser. So basically you can put the contrast up and down. You can bring the brightness up and down. You can change the warmth or cool tones and a few other different things. And what this is made to do is help you in those times when you're reading something in the dark. Maybe at night you're doing some research or an assignment. And if you're like me, sometimes from staring at a screen too long at night, you might get a headache or your eyes might feel really strained and hurting. 
So this extension, since I've used it for a few months now, it really helps out. It makes it so there's less of all that white and blue and bright colors coming into your eyes at night. They're all nice and warm or you can opt for cool. But for me, I use it mostly for night. So I like the warm colors that make me feel more relaxed at night without making my head hurt. And I can work on assignments for a long time without worrying about how I'm going to be feeling. At number seven, we have Volume Master. You know those times when teachers give you videos to watch that might have some bad audio that you can't hear very clearly on bad speakers or headphones? Or you are researching a topic and you come across good videos, informative videos, but you can't really use them because you can't understand all the words that are being said because it's too quiet and the microphone is bad quality. So this extension lets you boost the sound up to 600%, meaning you'll hear every little detail in the video. The last extension isn't exactly made for productivity, but it helps me and some other people be more productive. The extension is Run 3 Unblocked. Run is a three-part game, and most school Wi-Fi's block games. So this extension lets you have the game downloaded offline. So while you're listening to a lecture or some other thing, and you just really have to listen, not really pay attention watching, you can just play the game and it might help you be a bit more focused on listening which is what helps me because what helps me like i said before watching a show while doing work makes me more productive so playing a game while listening also makes sense that it helps me be more productive because my brain needs to be multitasking doing more work so that was the top eight extensions any student should be using to be more productive i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope some of this helped you if you have any extensions that you use or that you know that might help me or other people who came to this video for the exact same reason, make sure to leave a comment down below so I can check them out. Some extensions worth mentioning that I didn't talk about as much because they're not entirely student related might help is Adblocker, Custom Cursor for Chrome, Weaver Highlighter and Google Mail Checker. Each of these and the extensions mentioned before will be listed down below with all the links leading to them or you can just search them up as you saw the names in the video. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you at all, please subscribe and leave a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.